A reader asks, why do I fear my own power? That's a good one. I used to really like not understand that. People say, oh, the fear of power. It's like, what? Why would I fear power? And then now that I've overcome my fear of power a couple times, I have some clarity as to how that, that's the thing. That's a real thing. So two ways that I, that come to mind right away is how I have previously feared my power and probably still do, but at least these are the ones I remember overcoming to a certain degree. The first one was, um, and this was really something that became clear as I, as I dove into the archetypal energy of the king, the power of the king, being kingly in my life. Um, I was like, I'm scared of that. I'm scared of that. It's like, what, but what am I scared of? I was afraid that I would be evil. I was afraid that if I expressed that kind of power, that I would be a tyrant king. And, and so there was a value conflict with my imagined idea of who I would be if I were to express that power. And so I think this is the case. Oftentimes people fear their power because they fear that they won't be somebody who it's really important to them that they are. Right. And we've got a lot of social cultural stories about what certain kinds of power looks like. And then if we're sold on that, then I don't want to be that. So I've got this power to be something, but I'm afraid if I was that, that I wouldn't be a good person or I wouldn't be the kind of person that is another part of me, a deep part part of me that, that I want to be. And so this kind of, we live in this kind of uh, faux rock in a hard place based on these false ideas. It's a rock in a hard place based on things that don't really exist um, or a false choice, I should say. So that's a big one. Uh, simply figuring out that for yourself, if that's the case, that and then actually being really clear that, no, I can be expressed and powerful and still be a good person. That's where I figured out that the word king comes from kin, meaning family. And the word kin is like a kindred spirit. It comes from somebody who's, who's kind. So kindness, king, family, those are all kind of one word. So I found my way of expressing the power of a king, knowing that this is about kindness. This is not, I don't have to fear being a tyrant. I'm committed to not being. And I know that actually is the truest expression of a king. That was a story that liberated um, me to express my power in that way. Another way that I have experienced the fear of power was that um, the fear that like, if something's good and it works, what if it doesn't last? What if I, exp what if I have this, I could feel this power, I have a power to get up on the stage and speak and move the room. And then people might want to work with me back when I was doing public speaking and coaching in London, I would say. People might want to work with me uh, as a coach after I spoke in that stage. But what if then the next day I wasn't feeling this power? And, and what if I wasn't able to continue to make an impact for them? So I think sometimes the fear of power is even if you, you have it and it's right there, you're, you're afraid that if you stand up and you wield this power that it might not last. And then you might be out there above the parapet. People know who you are because you've expressed your power. And then you can't continue to hold your own anymore. And then you're vulnerable. Then you're, then you're in big trouble because they're expecting you to be able to keep this up. So, so I think sometimes the fear of power is the fear of not being able to keep the power, the fear of the premature fear of loss of power that has still uh, yet to be expressed. So I don't know why you fear your power, but those are two fears of power that I have uh, discovered, acknowledged and overcome for myself. So maybe those try those on, look into those for yourself or keep searching because it's a thing. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.